Hi everyone. Good morning to you all. Welcome to science class. In the last class, already we are discussed about some important concepts related to the light, their reflection, laws of reflection, how the light can travels, and some other important concepts. Now let us discuss one more important concept that is a reflected light can be reflected again already we are learned what is reflection the bouncing back of light from the source is called as a reflection here reflected light again once reflected how possible Really, is it possible in the nature? Yes, of course, my dear students, it is possible in the our surrounding or in the nature. What is that? So mainly, in the previous year, already you learned about the how to construct the periscope. How to construct the periscope by using two plane mirrors. Already you learned. Can you explain how? So mainly the periscope is mainly made up of two plane mirrors. Here I taken mirror one and mirror two, right? So for example, here how periscope works and how it is useful. For example, this is one of the object. This is a one of the object. Now this is the light from the object. Now first, what is periscope? How it works? Really is it useful or not? Let's learn one by one. First periscope. Periscope is a device which is used for seeing the objects which are not in direct line of sight. Means so. Uh, it is a periscope is a device which is used to see the objects the objects are not in the same plane which are not in a direct line of sight right it is called as a periscope mainly periscope can work on the principle of what the laws of reflection mainly peri periscope can work because of what the laws of reflection now this is the figure of the periscope. Firstly, I use the two plane mirror. Mirror 1, mirror 2 and this is the wall and here a person is watching the objects. Then how it works? Mainly. The periscope is mainly works with the help of the two laws of the reflection already I told. Now, here is an object. The light from the object is enters through the periscope. First, it falls on the mirror too. First, it falls on the mirror too. When the light falls on this mirror, there is a reflection takes place. After reflection, the reflected ray is moving towards the and falls on the second mirror. So, here reflected right ray once again reflect again up to it falls on the human eye to observe the various objects in front of it which are not in the same plane then it is the working of the periscope but periscope is very very essential very useful in our day to day life almost all the periscopes are used in submarines in tanks and also by soldiers in bankers or bunkers to the see things of the outside and some more other useful or occasions are there about the periscope this is about the some information about the periscope okay so very important is once the reflected light again is reflected from the 
another mirror that is called as the reflected light can be reflected again dear students one more important concept i want to explain now that is lateral inversion you may have experienced that when you holding a mirror holding a mirror just you lift your right hand the mirror shows the left hand or it shows the left if if you lift the left hand the mirror or in the mirror appears as a right what is this important phenomenon here this is called as what lateral inversion the image is formed by a mirror the left of the object appears as right or the right appears as left it is called as a lateral inversion if you come to know still clarification just you have to do this activity at your house by using a mirror if you lift a right hand the mirror shows the left and if you lift the left it shows the right hand this is called as what lateral inversion the students today we will discuss about to reflected light can be reflected again and also lateral inversion so remaining concepts we will discuss in the next session bye thank you